morning everyone i hope you guys are having such a good day we are doing a reset day i have been living my best bum life and i just need to get myself back together so that's what we're gonna do today i have not worked out in a week i feel like I've completely fallen off track with what I'm eating. And I've just been so focused on getting ready for our vacation and trying to get on track with this year. I just feel this year has just been nuts. Like, is anybody else feeling that way? So that's what we're gonna kinda do today. I want to set up my planner. I want to get organized. I wanna do some cleaning. I want to just kind of re-get back on track. I'm very thankful that I have today off that I can just focus on me today. I just sent the kids off to school. So I want to start by kind of getting myself set up. I want to get having like a little something for breakfast. I want to set up my planner and then I literally need to dust and vacuum my little gym area and my garage and get working out. I have been loving my treadmill. If you guys have been here now for a little bit, you guys have seen that I got my new treadmill and I have been obsessed with it. I think it's a thing. Like it's like a, I think that's how I heard about it. It's like you do 30 minutes on the highest incline, which mine is a 10 degree incline. And then I think for like the like TikTok version, it's like a 12 degree incline or percent or something. I don't know. I do mine on the highest incline, which mine's at a 10. And I do that for 30 minutes and I just sweat it out. On days like this to where I have the time I can, you know, get on there for an hour, I do. And what I love is that it kind of gives me a time to like watch whatever I want. I try not to be on like social media. I try not to watch the news. I'm like, if that's something you want to do, go for it. But I literally have it for like my nonsense TV. But before we go any further, like I said, I want to get planning out my day because I feel like if I have a good expectation and like goals that I want to hit today that's really gonna set me up and I have not been on my planner now for two weeks three weeks I just needed a minute so I need to get myself set up I got new dividers oh also too we're switching up the closet we're organizing the closet I want to get it more streamlined and aesthetically pleasing and more usable so I want to work on that today as well you guys i just got done setting all of this up uh if you guys ever want to see like in detail how i do this i can show you guys but essentially this is my favorite essentially what i do is kind of have them all set up by like week month trackers and stuff like that so you can kind of see some of my previous ones so i have it for my trackers i always kind of start with my trackers because everything else is like information or past work that i've done this is going to be like my trackers throughout the day of just things that are important to me that i want to make sure i get done and then it kind of goes into the month the week and then this is what i started um, and I think I've showed you guys this before, but what I do in this part is I do Monday to Sunday, first of all, and then also to, I write down my meals and my husband's out of town. He comes back today. And so, um, him and I will sit down tonight and figure out the rest of the week. We started to do this, but I just want to look at like our schedule and what we have. And then this is today. So this is what's important for today. So these are my 10 goals for the month. And this is honestly to just focus on me and getting back on track. So you can kind of see, you know, getting a one hour workout in. These are things just for today. But yeah, that is my planner. It works really, really well. 
And then these were my Christmas ones. These were all the dividers. They sell out. I mean, I, I can almost guarantee you that these are all sell, sold out. But there are a lot of other different options. Um, this is just the Valentine's Day one. But yeah, I love it. I think it's super cool and unique. And it really does help keep me on track. Okay, now that that is done, I just switched clothes. I just had a tiny bit of laundry today. I got this really good little organizer and it's or divider for your laundry. I'll link it down below. But essentially Essentially, it just like sorts out your your whites, your colors, and your darks. And I love it because it actually shows me what I need to get done. So instead of like having like this monstrous pile, it takes up a little bit of room in your laundry room, but it just sorts it all out. So I can kind of see like, okay, I have laundry to do, but it's not even like a half a load's worth. So for someone like that sees a pile, it drives me crazy. I like that it actually shows me like, Jeannie, don't be wasteful just because there's a little bit of laundry. It's really not that much. So I kind of like that. I could just go ahead and do it, knock it out, but it's literally like a third of the load where if I waited probably one more day, it would at least be a half a load. And my husband's gonna come home with all these dirty clothes. So I might as well just wait and have laundry as a priority for tomorrow. I still haven't made my bed. And that is a big one for me because if I make my bed, it pushes me to do the next thing and the next thing and the next thing to stay more on track and like to get more things done. So if that is something for you that like you don't make your bed and then you have a hard time getting on it for the day try making your bed and see where it leads you because it really does make a big difference so i'm going to do that i'm going to make my bed i'm going to then take my vacuum downstairs and um, vacuum my garage. I'm also gonna take a dust rag and a cleaning cloth to like clean my mirror, dust everything off and just like get it fresh and clean up because we're gonna be back in there instead of having a week off. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's start getting productive because I feel like it's almost like, it's I think like 9.30 and I'm like feeling like the day is already getting away from me, but having, it takes a long time to get that set up when you're literally starting from scratch. It took me I think like 30 minutes, but it just, Oh, like I just feel so good. Like I feel like I'm back on track. Like I'm I'm just being so productive already. So if that helps you, just just take a little bit of time, make up a coffee. I drink my pre-workout and my collagen and all of that to like get me energized as you can see for the day. And then just start, just start moving, just start going, and it will make the biggest difference. <laughs> but I am tired. I also drank my whole Stanley already, so we need a refill. All right, filled up. So, first of all, you're gonna see me like this the majority of the day. We're gonna normalize people looking like this because this is their natural faces. We're going with natural today because I think I'm definitely gonna be showering, getting ready, but I'm probably not putting on makeup. I am a firm believer that if you don't have to put on makeup, don't put on makeup. Why waste the expensive makeup? Even, even if it's just drugstore makeup, don't waste your makeup if you don't have to. Also too, less things on your face. So let's normalize that. Let's enhance that. Let's, let's improve these things. I'm hungry now because I didn't end up eating, which is fine. I had my probiotic. I had my purple tea. I had my collagen. My purple tea is kind of my pre-workout also too. I feel like when I'm on the treadmill, and like my brain is going, I have AD. So there is constantly Chippendales. There's a hundred acre wood just like through my brain and all these things going on all the time. Comment down below if you were the same way. But I think of the most random things. I had so many subscriptions that I've been trying to work on and like, like not pay for anymore and stop wasting my money. So I canceled three of them while I was on the treadmill. So that saved me like $180 a month that I just canceled of things like I don't use. 
So I worked on that, which I was super happy for. I always try and stay off my phone and just like enjoy the time, but I had that. So I'm like, I need to do it right now because otherwise it's, it's gone. Um, I'm hungry though, Chippendale, I'm hungry. So I want to do some meal prep. I need to prioritize protein. That is like one of the number one things and for nutrition that I need to prioritize. I don't eat enough protein. So I um, thought about implementing protein first. I have said that before, but what I kind of mean by it is like I need to eat protein before I have like a vegetable, a, a dessert, anything like that. So I'm gonna try and do that with snacks too. I need to either have protein with a snack and eat it all in one bite type situation or protein needs to enter first and then if there's more room still hungry for other things we can do that then too but I need to start off with protein and I need to snack throughout the day I tend to just have like lump sum of meals of feedings as I call them and so I need to get better at actually going and having more food throughout the day because there are days when I'm working I don't eat or I have one meal I have like 15 minutes where I can like literally I'm shoveling food into my body and then I think my body goes into like starvation mode because it's like you give me nothing all day so then I hold on to everything and I retrain it retain it so I feel like if I could go and just eat 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 all the time my body will not go into starvation mode so much because that is the hardest thing in my nutrition and my husband's is real bad like that too so what I did is I got a bunch of like protein snacks um, different meals I miss that with keto hold please okay let's try that again <laughs> I'm washing dog bedding I'm always thinking like I don't like the washer to not be running so I'm like there has to be something I can wash so I remember dog bedding I can always wash. I could wash dog bedding every day and I'd be so happy because we have a lab Harley is hypoallergenic but Lincoln is not he's a lab he's very allogenic and potent and so because he retains smells and creates his own scent I have to wash his stuff all the time because I never want my house to smell like a dog you know what I mean anyways keto snacks I miss all the snacking options with keto, like the good little recipes of that. I'm not saying I'm going back on keto, but I miss the like the high protein snacks. I don't want to do as much fat, but I like some fat and I like balance and I don't want too greasy of meat. I just want, I want options. So we're gonna make some preppy things, get some protein in me because I'm starving. One thing that I know that I can like count on every time when I buy this at Costco, it's the shrimp cocktail tray. Listen, if you are one where you just like need food quickly, like I do right now, I need the meats, I need the foods, I need a feeding right now because I will, I'm approaching hangry status. So I waited too long. So I know this, I literally, protein quick, lean, I can grab it. If you are not a fish person, I am so sorry. Try and make little like charcuterie boards at home, like ready to go, which is what we're about to do. But even just having like meat sticks, some like cut up cheese, even if you gotta buy the pre-cut, like do whatever, like have it to where you can literally grab and go. I'm grabbing and going. And what a treat. Like, can we say that? Also too, Costco is the best price for this. $13.84 was this huge thing of shrimp cocktail. So I packed this one for like a work lunch day and it has, I mean, it's literally packed. So I have my uh, meat and cheese and I just like layered it and they cut it up. I did the sweet bell peppers and unreal chocolate for my little dessert, cream cheese with everything seasoning. Um, and then the cucumbers, I do need to add in a fruit. So I think I'll just grab like a banana or something or an apple to go. And then I thought about doing some pickles for like some tang, but I wasn't sure if they were gonna get, they were gonna fit. I have these ones that I think I'm gonna use. I got those at Trader Joe's, I think. Yeah, Trader Joe's, yes, they're the Trader Joe pickles. They're pretty good. Um, I thought about putting in there, but I think this will just be fine. I think this will literally be plenty, but yeah, this is a really good box. Like I can literally eat this in the car if I have to. This will take me nothing to eat, take up zero space. I mean, it's just this little bento box. It'll work perfect.
lot of helicopters over here lately and I don't really know why. Okay, so I got my skincare done. I got all hydrated. I still put on SPF though because I'm clearly standing in front of a window and I want to, you know, stay protected. And also I've been working so hard on my melasma and hyperpigmentation. So that helps to stay on top of your SPF. But I have been using that Summer Fridays broad spectrum. I can't remember. It's like, a, it's just like your SPF. And it didn't wear so nice under makeup. I will say the glossy one that I've worn for years that I always love and I still love. It just makes it a little bit more oily. And so I like that this wears a little bit better under makeup because it's not as glowing. I feel like I have a decent glow, but it's, it's not as like oily if that makes sense. So I think I'm going to keep that one for the one that I have for like at the pool and that because I think that'll be perfect. But I want to keep this one for as like my day to day and I've been loving it. I also have been loving their lip oils. They are worth every rave that everybody keeps talking about. And the lip butter balms. Lip butter balms is what I'm wearing today. It's very hydrating. It's a really great product because of what they use and make it with and everything. It's not as like crappy. I mean it's definitely a more elevated makeup line as far as like their ingredients. So I would definitely recommend recommended. I, I, like I said, I do really think it's worth the hype. I've had three things now from them in multiple different shades and I love every single bit. And I honestly think for what you're getting and the quality of the product, it's worth every bit. I think it's actually worth more than what it's priced at. But every day, and I'm sorry if you're hearing people doing yard work, it's just real life. This is a very real life day. I want to pick a project every single day that I can work on and to where it's not taking up my weekends and I can have my weekends like more relaxing, more doing more fun things with my family and not like spending the time cleaning the house. So my closet has been so dusty that I need to honestly just give every Thing of good cleaning. I also have the most time today, so I want to take on a bigger project like this because it just it, this. I mean, it's a bigger closet, and then there's just so much stuff in here. So I want to declutter. I want to go through some of this stuff. I want to condense some of the stuff, and then also to real life. I film in here a lot, so I want to make it a little bit more aesthetically pleasing. I feel like I I try and do a decent job. I like I really like how I redid this, and I just dusted this. I'm gonna still dust it again because it just probably needs a freshening up. But just wipe everything down. I also am going to be taking anything out that I'm not wearing and sorting a little bit because I want to reconfigure just a little bit. I don't think this is realistic for everyone, but I mean, if it, you haven't cleaned your closet in a minute, like dusted, clean it. If you have a mirror, mirrors in here, I have another mirror here. Time to clean them up. The windows, if you have any windows, like I have a big window in here that I'm standing in front of. It's pretty dusty. We need to clean that up. So I'm going to work on that today and just kind of get everything cleaned up. My shoes and that, a lot of the shoes that I'm not wearing, I keep in bins like right up here. And and those I can just leave alone. But yeah, it just needs a good cleaning. And like I said, I want to reconfigure a little bit. So I'm going to work on that today. And I, like I said, I have the most time today. So I want to take a big chomp out of something. Now, like tomorrow, I'm probably not going to have as much time. I could probably take 10 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes and clean like our half bathroom. Like that just makes it easier. And then every day I'm just biting off a little bit of something that I would normally do on the weekend. So I'm going to do this one today because it's been driving me crazy and it's just dusty. I mean, honestly, like it's literally like like I'm looking at the window like you can't really tell but she I mean she's dusty look at like I just peeled this she's dusty like we I never think to clean this window and she gets so dusty so I'm gonna work on that today get all this cleaned up I hope you guys are enjoying this because to me I love watching videos like this because it motivates me to like get off my butt and like get something done and also too I love getting inspired like I just went on Pinterest and I'm like how can I elevate my closet so I just searched closet organization and went through all the pictures and I saw like all the color coded and it just looks so much more aesthetically pleasing so that's what like prompted me to do this today is because I'm like oh I wanted to look like that and kind of use the tools that I have and then adding I think I add you know the, the little baskets I got were like three dollars a piece and I got seven of them so just switching little things out to be more organized like I said they're not my favorite I think it's worth it to invest in like closet pieces especially whenever you move whatever they last a long time but I'm having a hard time finding it so they're fine for right now if I find something different I'll exchange them but let's stop talking I can get very chatty and let's start cleaning getting all this cleaned up I'm gonna start by taking taking everything out. I'm going to sort everything in any piece that I touch. If I'm not wearing it, I haven't worn it in a year. It's not coming back in this closet. <music>
it already looks so much better, just so much cleaner. I still am trying to figure out a couple different things in here, but I essentially just want to have, and I used to have a basket up here, which I condensed this to just shoes and then maybe a couple shoes down here for like overflow. I'm still trying to work with things because we're, we're literally, I will go from this today to that tomorrow. So <laughs> it's, that's just how it is with the weather here in the South. So I just picked up these little bins from Target. They were like $3, super inexpensive. They actually fit in here really well, which is why I bought them because I like that they can be divided up and it's like everything has a home. So I like areas to be able to like build a bag. So this is all the stuff that I put in my bags, like sunglasses, chargers, all the things. I have a little bit more of overflow if I have like certain papers in that to clean out. I'm still working on this one. It's just like headbands in that. Um, and then my winter one. And then I did my hats for like non-sport hats and then sport hats. It's fine, right? Like it's not ideal. I Again, I don't want to keep this as an option or I will keep this as an option, but it is not like my final pick by any means. But I just wish I could find something that fit in here better. I don't mind adjusting these shelves to make them higher or shorter or whatever or have left shelves if I could find things that like fit in here. So I'm going to be going still on scavenger hunts to try and find something. But I mean, I still need to find places for my sunglasses, like my overflow of sunglasses. I still have sunglasses that downstairs on my day to day. But these are just like I put them in rotation, right? These are my Louis Vuitton ones. My scarves and that. My belt is in there. I don't know. I'm still working on things. And then I wanted to have like a special spot for my SLG. So I need to find like a little basket for in here, jewelry, perfume, picture of my husband and I, my Mickey's, my prized possessions, and then the castle. I actually love this in here. I wish the bigger one, like the Cinderella castle could actually fit down here, but she's just up here. I did take all of this down and I dusted everything. All of this is dusted. My overflows, my empties bin, that is dusted. Everything is dusted off in here. I just need to do this right here and then kind of work through this. I'm kind of just shoving everything out of the way because I'm having limited room. And then also too, I have my necklaces and that here. I need to find a better spot again. But like you can see, like this is how dirty. Like that's that's some that's some filth. So we gotta clean this up. <laughs> much of a difference just moving colored clothes around and just having it clean I think has just made a huge difference I kind of want to show you guys how I set it up um if you guys can remember I had bins all the way along here I took those out last night because they were just driving me nuts like the sleeves would always get under there I think it was really good but like I just condensed like I severely condensed because I used to have I think five bins total up here and I am down to three so this is my husband's hats and then um this is underwear and socks and sports bras that's it I literally get dressed in here I get ready in here I hang out with you guys in here all the time this is like my little room this is essentially my office so I want to like utilize it properly and like every little square inch so I hate to say it the bins were good I like I said I'm still gonna keep my eye out um but I wanted to have everything organized and I know I'm gonna like use all three of these bins I know I want to like reconfigure I want to get a divider for like my SLGs to have them like sitting up a little bit better. I know there's going to be more tweaking to be done. I'd still like to find something better for my Mickeys, but you guys, we're just, we're figuring out together. So essentially I have a color coded chart, which I'll put here on the screen. 
This is what makes such a difference. If you guys are on your phone, screenshot this. Um, otherwise, DM me and I can like send you a picture of it. But I just picked this up off of Pinterest and it just kind of color coded my items. So this is a much better way of kind of seeing how I did that. So whites into darks. And then normally I would do into like weight and sleeve and doing it that way. I essentially still did that. So like this side, I still did my tanks to my tees to my long sleeves to my sweaters. I still did that. But what I did, you can see it a little bit better with this. Instead of having collards together and crew necks together or having like a crop together and a full length, I did it by color. So I still have my more like jackets back here and they have their own color story. But like as far as sweatshirts and crew neck sweatshirts and hoodies, I did them together. And then I have a separation of like my husband's work clothes, which I needed to probably give him a little bit more space and condense this a little bit tighter because he has a lot of clothes at dry cleaning right now. And he like was on partially a work trip. So I know he has more clothes to go into here and in here. I lauded for the space, but what I did is I just kind of scrunched everything together and like moved my clothes over here to like not have a hole. Uh, but I then did it in a reverse motion for him. So like this is his white polo next to mine, but see how it's just like a cohesive blend. Again, I don't think this is completely necessary, but I think it is definitely helpful. The only section I did not do that with is my husband's clothes here is honestly because he has a ton of stuff that he needs to go through. He has a ton of things that need to be hung back up. He has a ton of clothes with him. So we just need to work on that. So that's still going to happen. I do need to go through um, this section a little bit more, but it has a lot of like a commingling of things. So it has like my pajamas in that. It has a couple spring things. And then it's like our travel clothes in that. I just want to sit down with my husband and kind of go through some of those things. Not really my pajamas. They're set up the way I like them. But yeah, I did the same thing to his like work pants and then to, you know, my t-shirts and tank tops, like a little bit of workout stuff. And then the only thing I didn't convert hangers to was all these clothes back here. So you can see plastic hangers mixed with metal hangers. And the reason why I didn't switch those out is because from the plastic hangers back is actually clothes that we're bringing on our trip. So I wanted to still have space for that. So I have the designated space down here, which I need to kind of configure with that stuff back there. But we're going to be working on that next weekend. But really, it's going to help because all of this is going to get taken off. And then once we get back from our trip, everything is washed. I can put everything on black hangers and then make it put it all back into here. And instead of having, to be honest, I have a lot of clothes in other closets and I've been slowly purging them out because I, I don't wear them. So if I'm not wearing them, why have them or why have a Disney closet, you know, full of Disney clothes? Might as well just mix them in with my t-shirt. It's not that big of a deal. I have the space in here. So I think this has made such a big difference. Let me know if you guys like this, what you guys think. I have some more of my bags up there. I just dusted everything. But those racks, you guys, do you remember when I got those? They're like purse hanger racks. They are the best. I wish I could get one for every single bag especially like this one up here, it would just be so much better. But it just, I would have to have two or something to like hang them on the, like the hooks. I don't know. I wish I could find something better to do with it. But for right now, it works good. And then this is like our overflow shoes of like, you know, golf shoes, boots, high heels. I don't need that out. I literally need my day to day. And this kind of makes a big difference. And then this is, I have some like filming stuff in here for just grab and go. But then I have like some athletic shorts. I have some comfy shorts. I need to put that back over here like this. I have like my comfy shorts and then my filming stuff um, that I can just grab and go because I film here, you guys, all the time. And then too, I got a different little basket for my husband in his... Um, his belt in that, a deep pillar, and then they're like the, the shoe pads. I just put them, it's kind of like a junk drawer type thing. I put them in there. And then I did my denim, my lounge wear, like my, um, my joggers are right here, colored leggings, black leggings, and then my athletic ones that I wear every day and my cozy ones that I'm wearing now that I wear every day. They're just the ones from Amazon and they're the best. And then same, this is just like my little short section. So not a ton has changed, but I mean a decent amount. I think this was really good. This was something so dusty and dirty and I'm just so happy. It's all fresh and clean now.
Okay, let's mark off a couple things. Some of the things I like to for like my planner, I'm not gonna mark that off because I wanna get better at marking it off and working, like touching on my planner multiple times a day. So like three times a day would be ideal to where it's like in the morning when I plan out my day, middle of the day, let's check in, make sure we're like staying on track, staying focused. And then also too, at the end of the day, like bef like bef like post dinner, before I do like my afternoon walk or my evening walk, um, my PM walk is what I call it. And then like just making sure like, oh, I forgot to do this like dumb little thing, but it was in my top three movers and it was important to me. So some things I'm not gonna fully mark off, um, but like I worked out today, can mark that off. Planner, I can mark that off, but I'm like I said, I'm not going to because I wanna wait till the end of the day and to like make sure I'm like following through and tracking the rest of my stuff the rest of the day. Also, you're very wobbly, so I'm sorry. Uh, water, I got two out of three done and I've already had my purple tea, my probiotic and my collagen. I've been creating, I can mark that off. Uh, two videos a week, pff, we're, marking that off. Uh, tidying up. I've been tidying up clearly all day, but I think we could just wait to like, to make sure I all of a sudden don't get lazy tonight and like leave the house. Not good. PM walk. We haven't done that up. Uh, snacks. I did. I changed it to do a couple like of the snack boxes. So like, so the same thing, it's like my water up here and then my purple tea, my probiotic, my collagen. I did the same thing for my snacks. So I just marked off my second snack of the day. And then I wanna have maybe one more. I might, I probably am not gonna get three snacks in today now because I should have had one right away this morning. That would have probably been better. So we'll learn for that tomorrow. And then protein first. We've been doing great, clearly. I mean, even we're having apples and we're gonna get seven grams of protein. And then um, clean up the closet, mark that off. And then my top three movers, we definitely knocked those out today. My top three movers were workout, planner, and create. We did three out of three already. My love cup section, which is the to feel amazing, I will. And then everything else is working good. The only thing that I still need to do is to catch up on my timeline here. So time check, it is now 1.58. So I have an hour before I go pick up the kids, which I'm gonna start pre-editing on another video that you guys have probably already seen by now, but I haven't put it out yet. So if we're at two o'clock, that means I still will be cleaning up the closet, which we've already did. We've already gotten ready. We showered, we prepped meals and we worked out. So we're ahead of schedule by one hour, which is what is so amazing to me because literally yesterday for two days, I did nothing, literally nothing. I didn't even like turn on the TV. I was scrolling on my phone literally the entire time. And it was like, it was good for me because I kind of needed that. And then on Friday, you guys saw this video already. I just did like a, a mom day, like an ideal mom day. And I just needed a minute to just like revive, I feel, because you guys can see, I go like this every day. Like this is my norm. So then to not do it, to not be working out, to not be doing my planner, it goes from one extreme to the next. So hence why I picked really simple goals on because I can at least touch on eight of these goals every day. If I can't do a second walk because I'm working late, that's not the end of the world. And then my protein, I'm really trying to, and my snacks, like those are like little things that I could be doing every day to just make a huge change in my lifestyle, in my nutrition, in my body, in my overall health. So that's why it's really important. I wanted to share this to just kind of be like realistic and show you how I kind of get through the day, how I am human, just like you, and I have have times, weeks, months even. I've had this to where I've had slumps like this for months to where I literally am doing nothing. I'm having chips and dip like every day. Like that's realistically can happen to anyone and it definitely happens to me. And having days like this to where I can reset, refocus, and I know some of you guys have littles at home to where it makes it harder, but this is something to where you could just work on it for like 15 minutes at a time. If you can only work out for 15 minutes, only work out for 15 minutes, but at least you worked out like at least you got something done like you moved like that was way better than what I was last week right but I'm gonna end the video here I hope you guys really enjoy this day with me I wanted to like I said have it be like super realistic and super super real super me and have it to be something to where you guys could easily see that it's it's manageable it's achievable you don't have to have the planner to do it you can write out 10 things on a sheet every single day to make yourselves feel better. And if you need something to just, you know, get going and to get motivating you, send me a message. I'll talk to you, I'll help you. Just send me a message and I can I can get with you guys on this. But I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you so much for watching, especially watching this entire way through. Also, I wanna start doing a fun little thing in the sense of if you guys are watching these, you know, maybe longer videos um, all the way through to like, to see like who actually watches the entire time, do like a little heart emoji where, you know, 
talking about love cups and Valentine's Day and stuff like that. So let's just do like a little heart emoji or just write love or something in the comment box. I would really appreciate it. And then I can say hi to you guys and thank you personally for watching the video all the way through. But thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the like, hit that subscribe, turn that notification bell on, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.